Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are going to continue on doing some AP Physics 1 free response questions. As usual, I suggest you um, pause the video and attempt to do the problem first before continuing on the video. So if a block of mass M slides up the incline is shown above with initial speed V naught in the position shown. If the incline is frictionless, determine the maximum height H to which the block will rise in terms of the given quantities and appropriate constants. Okay, so this is a simple energy conversion. Um, all of its kinetic energy at the at the top of the height is it's going to convert into potential energy. So I'm going to say one half m v naught squared because at the top it's not going to be moving anymore, so it has no kinetic energy. M g h. Okay. Um, Okay, you don't have to use the angle, I guess, because I divide by m. Uh, what am I calculating for? Determine the maximum height. Oh, yeah, h. So um, h, I get divided by g, is v naught squared over 2g. Okay, just dividing the g over here. If the incline is rough with the coefficient of sliding friction mu, determine the maximum height for which the block will rise in terms of h and the given quantities. Okay, so now... Um, there's really two ways to do this. You could attempt to do this by um, work, by still energy. But basically what happens has to happen is mv naught squared plus m, well it has to equal, still has to equal mgh. But it has to lose some, um, some of the kinetic energy has to go into energy work done by friction. Um, that would be the force of friction times the friction, the distance it goes. Well, the distance it traveled, uh, if this is h, then um, I know that uh, sine of theta is equal to h over this distance, right? This this distance d, h over d. This is h. Sine of theta opposite is h over d. So d is equal to h uh, over sine theta. So that's what I can replace here. And the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. In this case, I'd have to do a free body diagram to determine what the normal force was. It has to equal to the component of gravity that is in the plane here, right? So this is theta. This so force uh, the normal force would have to equal uh, mg cosine theta. Some people remember mg cosine theta. I always have to rederive it because I, I just never memorize it. So then basically I have 1 half m v naught squared is equal to mgh plus the force of friction, which is mg cosine theta, times the distance d, which we found was h over sine theta. Okay, I can divide by m, and I can factor out an h and a g. So this is a gh times 1 plus uh, what's left over here in the factor is cosine over sine theta. That's cotangent theta. Okay, and then I can solve for h is I divide by g and I divide by 1 plus cotangent theta. Oh, wait, no, there's a mu somewhere in here. This should be 1 plus mu cotangent theta. Yeah, okay. Is equal to um, v naught squared over 2g times 1 plus mu cotangent of theta. Okay. Um, if the ink, a thin hoop of mass m and radius r moves with the incline with the initial speed v not in the position shown, if the incline is rough and the hoop rolls up the incline without slipping, determine the maximum height to which the hoop will rise in terms of h given the quantities above. Um, they, uh, one thing you're going to have to know, which you used to have to know, is I is equal to, I, I think these are from the physics C exam, so that's why you would have to know it. I, in this case, I'll give to you, which is probably why you, would, you wouldn't have been able to do this on your own, m r squared. Um, is it 1 half? No, it's, there's no 1 half if it's, a, if it's a ring. It's just m r squared for a, a loop. So the total energy, one ha so the initially it has um, mv naught squared, but it has some rotational energy too. 
right? Because it must have been rolling. I think what there's a thin hoop of mass m moves up the incline with the initial speed v not in the position shown. Is it spinning this whole time? Yeah, I think I think we'll have to assume it's spinning. One half i times omega, which is v over r squared. Um, let's simplify this. This r squared cancel with this r squared. So this is um, 1 half mv naught squared plus 1 half mv naught. That's equal to mv naught squared. And again, that has to equal mgh. So divided by the m's cancel, so h is equal to v naught squared over g. And the reason it goes higher is because it, we're assuming it started off spinning, started off with some rotational energy. If the incline is frictionless, determine the maximum height to which the hoop will... Oh, actually, okay, never mind. I think we're going to assume that it's mm, sliding, and then it starts spinning. No, then it will slip. Yeah, never mind. I, I think we, just, we did it right on C. If the incline is frictionless, determine the maximum height to which the loop will rise in terms of H in the given quantities. Well, so you see, what's going to happen is if, if it was spinning, we're assuming that it was spinning with this initial velocity... And when it goes up the ramp, it's not going to slow. The spinning isn't going to slow down. So its energy is one half m v naught squared plus one half m v naught squared, which is what we decided was the rotational energy when I simplified this, is equal to m g h plus one half m v naught squared because it's still going to be spinning up here. See here we assume no other kinetic energy because it stops spinning plus zero because no linear kinetic energy and no spinning kinetic energy. But here we're going to assume that uh, it, it 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 must have still have some rotational energy, so that part's going to cancel. And when I solve for h, I get h is equal to v naught squared over two g. Okay, so it's not going to go as high because th that rotational energy doesn't get help help it keep going up the ramp. Right, doesn't help increase its potential energy. That's why it goes higher when uh, it has some friction to slow it down. Okay, uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.